Hey guys, today we'll be checking out a $1000 gaming PC. This will be for people that want some killer 1080p performance, though 1440p shouldn't be much of an issue for this PC either. If you're looking for something that can just play games on high or even ultra at 1080p, then make sure to check out my $500 build. And if you're looking to do some more fancy stuff like 4K or triple monitor gaming, then make sure to check out my $1500 build. Anyway, let's jump right into the first component, which as usual is the CPU. Coming in at $240, for this build I chose the Intel Core i5-4690K. As I've said before, this is probably the best CPU for gamers out right now, and because it's completely unlocked and overclockable, it should serve you well for several years to come. Our next component is the CPU cooler. For this build, I chose the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. This is pretty much the go-to budget cooler. It's only around $30, but should give you enough cooling power for a decent overclock. Next up, we have our motherboard. I chose the MSI Z97 PC Mate. Apart from the strange name, this motherboard has everything we need for only around $90. There's not too much to say here, so let's hop over to the RAM. I chose 8GB of the A-Data XPG V1 series. It's nice and fast, looks good, and comes in at around $72. Next up we have our storage drives, a 120GB PNY XLR series SSD for your OS and games, and a 1TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive for your mass storage needs. The price is around $63 for the SSD and $50 for the hard drive. Now for possibly the most important component, the graphics card, I chose the Gigabyte WinForce R9 290. This monster of a graphics card rivals the GTX 780 in terms of performance, but is considerably cheaper at around $380. Now I have seen this card go down to around $320, so if you look out for sales you might be able to save some money here but as of right now, the cheapest price is $380. This GPU will chew through any game you can throw at it, while staying nice and cool and quiet thanks to the triple fan design of the WinForce cooler. For the case, I chose the Corsair 200R. It's admittedly not the most flamboyant case out there, but it's pretty cheap at around $50 and still comes with all the bells and whistles you would expect from a Corsair case. Obviously, this is the most subjective choice on this list, so feel free to pick whatever you like. Our final component is the power supply. I chose the EVGA 600B series 600W 80 plus bronze certified power supply. It costs around $45 and will comfortably power all our parts with lots of room to spare for overclocking. So that's all for this parts list, the total price yesterday was $995, today it's $1001, and because prices are always evolving, it will probably be completely different depending on when you're watching. Make sure to follow the link in the description to check it out. And feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions. Anyway, that's all for this video, I hope it helped you out, if it did, make sure to leave a like. On the left, you can check out my previous video, where I talk about YouTube networks, and on the right, you can check out my playlist with all the other PC build videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.